In this presentation, we will try to understand how to access characters in a string in Python programming language. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In this presentation, we will discuss the following topics. The first topic is accessing individual characters in a string. The second topic is accessing individual characters in a string from the last. And the third topic is accessing the substring of a string. These are all the topics we will discuss in this presentation. Let's start with the first topic that is accessing individual characters in a string. So, what do we mean by accessing individual characters in a string? In Python, we are allowed to access individual characters in a string. For example, we have the string hello and in this hello string, we have total 5 characters. Each character receives a number starting from 0 up to the length of the string minus 1. So, in this case, it will be 0 to 4 because there are total 5 characters in this string. So, it starts from 0 and ends at 5 minus 1 that is 4. Each character will receive a unique number and these numbers are called indices in Python. We can access each character of a string with the help of these indices. Now, let's understand how we can access characters of this string. For this, we need to go to our command prompt and we first need to type this command that is statement equal to hello. We want to assign this hello string to this statement variable or we can say the name statement is given to this string hello. Now, we can access each character of the string with the help of this variable called statement. For this, first we need to hit enter. So, as we can enter a new command, now we are ready to type in a new command. Let's type statement opening square bracket 0 and then closing square bracket. With this command, we can access the first character of the string. As I have passed the index 0 in these square brackets, this means that I am trying to access the first character of this string as the first character has this unique number 0. In this way, we can access the individual characters of this string. If we want to access, let's say, the second character of the string, we need to pass the value 1 within these square brackets. Now, we can hit enter and we will get the character h. If we want to access, let's say, this character, then we need to write 2 here instead of 0. And then we hit enter, we will get l as an output on the screen. I hope this idea is clear. In this way, we can access individual characters of a string in Python. Internally, this is how a string is represented in Python. Each character is assigned a unique number which is called an index of that character. With the help of that index, we can access that character. So, in this way, we can access individual characters of a string. Now, we are done with this topic of accessing individual characters. Let's move on to the next topic that is accessing individual characters from the last. What do we mean by accessing individual characters from the last? Let's consider the same example to understand this topic. Now, I would like to tell you one more way of accessing the characters of this particular string. We can access these characters from the last also by using negative indexing. We know that each character receives a unique number which is a positive number. Apart from this, each character also receives a negative number. This is what is called negative index of that character. This character receives minus 1 as this is the last character of this string. So, last character of any string will receive minus 1 as the index. This character receives minus 2. This character receives minus 3. This character receives minus 4. And finally, this character receives minus 5. So, indexing will start from minus 1 from the last and it goes up to the length of the string. Of course, this must be minus of the length of the string. So, this must be minus 5 in this case because there are total 5 characters in this string. So, the index ranges from minus 1 to minus 5 in this case. Now, with the help of these negative indices, we can also access these characters and that too from the last if we want to. Although we can use positive indices as well, it is totally fine. Now, let's consider the same variable statement and assign hello to it. 
Now we are ready to access the last character of this string with the help of this negative index. For this we need to type statement then opening square bracket minus 1 and then closing square bracket. In this way we can access the last character of this string. If we have any string or let's say if the user has provided a string and if we want to access the last character of the string then we can easily access the last character by just writing minus 1. We do not have to know the length of the string. This is the benefit negative index provides us. If we hit enter, we will get character O because character O has index minus 1. Now, if we are interested in accessing, let's say, this character, then we can access this character by its negative index, which is minus 4. So, instead of minus 1, we should type minus 4 within square brackets. Then we need to hit enter in order to get the output. In this case, we are getting the output as capital E. I hope this idea is clear. We are done with this topic, accessing individual characters from the last. Now we are ready to understand this topic, that is accessing the substring of a string. Substring is simply a part of a string. A range of characters can be accessed using slicing in Python. If we are interested in accessing a range of characters or if we are interested in accessing a substring in other words, we can access a range of characters or a substring using slicing. This concept slicing can help us in accessing a range of characters. There is a proper syntax we need to follow in order to access a range of characters. The syntax is name of variable First, we need to type the name of variable. Then, within square brackets, we need to write the start index followed by colon followed by end index. In this way, we can access a range of characters starting from the start index and it goes up to the end index but not including the character of the end index. So, character of the end index is not included. If end index is let's say 4, then the character of that index will not be accessed. So, we will access the range of characters from start index to end index minus 1. This is what we need to understand. For example, let's say we have this variable statement and it is assigned to the string hello. If we hit enter, we will not get any error message. Now, we are interested in accessing a sequence of characters, a range of characters. Or we can say we are interested in accessing the substring of this string. Let's say we are interested in accessing ELL. For this, we need to type this command statement opening square bracket. We need to specify the start index here. The start index must be 1 because we want to access ELL. Character E is at index 1. Therefore, we need to type 1 here because we need to write the start index first. Then we need to put a colon. After this, we need to write the end index. End index must be the index of this character because we want to access this substring, ELL. We need to end here. So, we always pass the end index of the next character. The index of next character is 4, hence we need to pass 4 here. So, we will get the substring starting from index 1 and it goes up to index 3. As I have mentioned already, that end index character is not included in the range. Therefore, it goes from 1 to 3 and not 1 to 4. So, characters at index 1, 2 and 3 are accessed. And hence, if we hit enter, we will get the string that is ELL, not ELLO. Let's continue and try to access some more substrings. This time, let's say we are interested in accessing HELL. Then in that case, we need to type this command. Statement, opening square bracket, start index must be 0 in this case because we want to include this character. We need to start from this character. And we need to go up to this point. Hence, we need to provide 4 as an end index because we don't want to include this character. We want to stop at this character. Hence, the range must be 0 to 4. But actually, we will get characters 
from index 0 to 3. So, by hitting enter, we will get H E L L as a result. Now, there is an alternative way to access a substring starting from the index 0 up to index 3. We can actually omit this index. So, instead of this command, we can write statement opening square bracket then colon and the last index. There is no need to specify the start index in this case as we want to start from the first character. By default, the start index is 0. Hence, there is no need to specify it. If we hit enter, we will get the string H E L L. We can also provide negative indices. For example, we can write this command statement opening square bracket minus 4 colon minus 1 then closing square bracket. What does it mean? Minus 4 is the index of this character and minus 1 is the index of this character. Obviously, this character will not be included. We will start from minus 4 and we will go up to minus 2, not up to minus 1. So, we must not include this character. Again, if we hit enter, we will get ELL as a result. So, we will get the substring ELL because index of this character is minus 4 and index of this character is minus 2. It must go from minus 4 to minus 2. Minus 1 must not be included. We will get this string ELL on the screen. So, this is all about accessing substrings of a string. And this means we are done with all these topics. We have understood how to access individual characters of a string. We have understood how to access individual characters from the last. And also we have learned how to access the substring of a string. This means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I'll see you in the next one.